Hello girls, we entered with a lecture on the basics of copy editing and that day I told you that we'll be dealing with different types of copy editing, different methods and all in the next lecture. Before going into that lecture, I felt that it's important for you all to understand the difference between copy editing and proofreading because basically both these are same. You will be getting confused between the terms editing and proofreading. So I thought we'll have a discussion on the differences between copy editing and proofreading. So basically proofreading and copy editing services involve close and cautious reading of a text or a document. Proofreading and copy editing are often assumed to be the same but they are not. Uh, they are different in many ways. Um, basically, they both does the same, the editing, the process of editing and correcting the mistakes. But only a copy editor has the right to change some sort of differences, change in content or make some sort of differences in the uh, statements that are written. A proofreader doesn't have that freedom to change any sort of content. That's the basic difference. A proofreader's job is to check for quality before the book goes into mass production. So that's the final step. The proofreader has to take the originally edited copy and compares it to the proof, making sure that there are no omissions or missing pages or any kind of awkward page breaks or anything like that. He has to make sure of all these technical things. On the contrary, copy editing is a more in-depth process. You have already uh, read a lot about it by now. This involves not just all the proofreading checks, but it also includes the revision of the text to improve its flow and structure. A proofreader mainly reads the copy of the document for checking consistency and layout of the information. So, the tasks involved in copy editing include checking written material for grammar, spelling, style and punctuation issues before it is prepared for proofreading. That of course you know we have discussed in the earlier slides. A copy editor may also do a rewrite if necessary to fix any problems with the transitions, wordiness, jargon and to ensure the style of the piece fits with the publication. This process of copy editing is also known as a revision or sub-editing. Okay. When the text is nearly a finished product as it has been edited, laid out and designed, the proofreader searches for typographical errors. So there comes the necessity of proofreader. He works, for the, works with a copy of a finished product or a proof as the name indicates as a proof. Uh, proofreaders don't suggest any kind of major changes to the text, rather they look for minor text and formatting errors and confirm the material is ready for publication. So now let, uh, let us look into the basic differences between uh, this copy editing and proof reading. So, copy editing, as you all know, it checks for grammar, spelling, syntax, and punctuations, and it also engages in reframing the sentences. But in that case, proofreading involves the examination of the of the copy of document to check for spelling mistakes, grammatical errors, incorrect punctuation marks, etc. And also, uh, it checks the lack of consistency in the textile like fonts, highlights like bold and italic spacing, underscore, etc. Whether there is any difference, technical errors in all these things. But at the same time, copy editing checks for technical consistency in spelling, capitalization, font usage, numerals, hyphenation, etc. As we mentioned the difference between American and British spelling as mentioned in the earlier text it looks for the technical consistency not just this words also 
Copy editing checks for continuity errors and consistency that makes sure that all loose ends are tied, especially when it is with some sort of fiction writing. But in that case, proofreading reads the copy of the document for checking consistency and layout of the information and ensures that nothing has been missed by the copy editor or typesetter. That's just a technical job. And also, copy editor, as um, we discussed earlier, should be well informed. She should, he should look for the factually incorrect statements, especially he should uh, verify the cross references, uh, the statements that are interdisciplinary in nature and the chronological order, then this uh, fact check, etc. Uh, everything are included in the copy editing. But in, in, um, to coming to a proofreader, he is not at all responsible for the accuracy of the content. He just have to verify the copy contains everything that is there in the original text. And also, a proofreader checks for the potential legal liability that is the copy editor not proofreader a copy editor checks for the potential legal liability and he verifies that your manuscript does not libel others libeling others means defaming others with some sort of uh, misinformation and then that legal liability comes to the uh, copy editor proofreader does not comprise rewriting or any kind of changing in the given material so he has no he holds no legal responsibility regarding this a copy editor must ensure that every element of the document is consistent cohesive and complete on the contrary a proofreader is assigned with a task of checking reproduction as to what the final documented text look like so that is basically the job of a proofreader that final editing a copy editor also attempts to prevent disconcerting errors relating to facts alarms the author in the context of any possible legal implications that we uh, mentioned earlier and makes sure that the typesetter can do a better job but the proofreader has simply has to verify all these details uh, that are correct or not Copy editing task is about a revision and correction. In short, it is about revision and correction, revising the statements, um, whether it needs a uh, better structure that he, that person has the right to revise the statements. But proofreading task is not about making revision, but making a correction. He, a proofreader is not allowed to change the sentences. Thus, it can be said that it is making sure of the total absence of any typographical mistakes from the manuscript and to proceed to the production stage. An element of correction may range from a letter to a paragraph or an accidentally omitted or repeated information or a misplaced database. Copy editing is proofreading with an added expertise in ensuring style consistency appropriate to a publication or organization as we discussed earlier copy editors has that responsibility too they should be um, uh, holding the ideologies or the norms and rules that the publisher holds so copy editor is not at all a glorified spell checker copy editor is your partner in publication suppose you are publishing a book copy editor a role is very important he is a partner in the publication the whole publication process so uh, this statement is important this to copy edit a document is to proofread it with the added expectation of ensuring style consistency with other content from the company or publication Copy editing, as I mentioned earlier, is also known as sub-editing in some uh, states like UK, Australia, etc. Okay. So that's all about the difference between copy editing and proofreading. Hope you all understood the difference. Thank you. Have a nice day.